Nakuru now. More than 3 million title deeds issued by uh, the Jubilee administration may just be rendered illegal. This is due to failure to comply with a court order issuing steps to regularize them. The High Court in December 2019 last year ruled that all title deeds issued without involvement of the National Lands Commission and the enactment of requisite regulations by Parliament were irregularly processed and uh, therefore illegal. But uh, Justice Joseph Nguto suspended the advance order to give the government one year to fix the legal shortcomings. Even as the deadline expires next Monday, the government is yet to effect the legal requirements. Experts are now warning of a looming upheaval in the real estate and financial sectors as well as in the economy. Let's cross over to Nakuru where a presser is currently going on on matters and legality of land. Yeah. Yes. Uh, can I start? All right. Uh, just uh, just bring us up to date uh, with the state of the title deeds that have been issued by the Jubilee administration so far. Uh, we are told the statistics is now uh, about 3,200,000 uh, titles that have been issued around the country. Uh, the the, the, we have not been participating uh, duly in the process, and that is one of the biggest problems about participation in the process. Uh, so we are aware that uh, the titles have been happening. The important two, three things that are really uh, inimical about these titles or invalidates these titles, if nothing is done to rectify them, is that uh, one, the Constitution requires the National Land Commission to advise the national government on a comprehensive program of registering titles throughout the country. That has never been done, is yet to be seen to be done. Two, the public is supposed uh, to participate in the process, uh, in that program, to ensure that the sanctity of those titles once they are, they are, they are given out. And, and three, uh, because the process had not been done duly, the court had a device that uh, the Ministry of Lands uh, do it with speed to ensure that the rules and regulations uh, are taken to the parliament for debate so that uh, they can regularize the irregular process by which they were issuing those titles. Uh, the Justice Joseph Nguto had suspended the order to term them, term, term them illegal, giving the government one year uh, to make good, the, uh, to regularize rather the title deeds. But what risk or what uh, consequences will come out of this if uh, that uh, deadline expires and the government is yet to comply with that court order? Uh, the, the expire is, is definitely on, on 19th of this month. And uh, once that uh, expiry happens, it basically means that all those titles will be invalid. The consequences to the economy is that uh, those titles have been either charged by banks or financial institutions. Uh, they may have also been uh, charged uh, for purpose of mortgage. Uh, so we are basically saying that uh, going forward, those, all those people who have engaged with those titles will be having useless pieces of paper, not any title with any sanctity as is required by law. And, and because this is a, a constitutional provision, it basically affects not only the titles given to the a number of peasants who have been given those titles, but even to the big guys who have been having lease grants, especially those who have been having their lease extensions uh, being, being uh, given out under the new titling. So all those uh, elements, as far as uh, title deeds given to ordinary Kenyans, grants given to those renewing leases with, on public land, and any other charges, the, uh, uh, charges that have affected those titles will come to a nullity, come 19th of uh, December. The only remedy the government has, other than uh, continuing with the impunity, is basically to seek the, gov the, the courts to extend. And whether the court will accept that is a different story.
But the consequences of the economy is so big that that could only be the solution that we have at the moment. All right, so an extension then is uh, something that has been in the debate with what I think the top government officials may just be asking for an extension from the court. But do we know in total how many title deeds uh, we're talking about that have been issued by the Jubilee administration that are in question? Uh, the Jubilee, pass, from, from Kenya Land Alliance, we have come across over 2 million titles, which we, we are trying to... Uh, mine through the system and, and analyze those titles. But we are given a figure of three million titles. Now, most of these titles were not practically given in public purview. Some of them were, people are directed to pick them at land registries. And, and we could imagine that uh, the, the land titling, titling center has been a mere factor of titles. So we don't know exactly what is the number. And the reason why we don't know that yet is that there was no effective public participation. But up to the moment, I can confirm, we have mined over 2 million titles, which we are analyzing at the moment, basically to see how many of those titles have gone to women. That is our, our direct purpose in looking at those titles. All right, and uh, the regulations, the regularization of these titles was expected to be discussed in Parliament. This was something that was tabled uh, way back in August. The Parliament goes on recess any moment now. The regulations yet to be discussed. Why is this, considering that, uh, especially uh, the political rhetoric by the Jubilee administration, that they are uh, very committed to regularizing the land issue? Are you reading some sort of lack of goodwill, would you say, from parliamentarians in discussing this motion? I, I think I want to balance the, 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 that discourse a bit. One, by August, the task force that had been given to finalize the regulations uh, around the new uh, laws, including the, the Land Regu uh, Registration Act, had finalized their work and passed on their draft to the Attorney General. The Office of the Attorney General, together with the the Kenya Land Reform uh, 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 Law Reform Commission uh, dismissed the draft as uh, poorly drafted, and it was returned to the Ministry of Lands. The Ministry of Lands uh, tried to correct it the best way they know how, and it is only until the 24th of November that they are purported to have gazetted uh, the rules and regulation. To be the best of our knowledge, we have been looking for that Gazette notice, whose number they never gave anybody, other than calling the media and just saying that Gazette, it is nowhere. And talking to the, uh, the, 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 the land committee of the parliament, they had not yet received those rules and regulations. So in between the Ministry of Lands, the Attorney General and the parliament, there's a general lacuna or a missing space, a gap that nobody can explain. And they are basically saying they have passed on. If the rules and regulations were received, they ought to have been gazetted. If they were gazetted, where is the gazette notice? That has never been known by anybody. We, the practitioners in this field, have been looking for that gazette notice. We have never seen it. And in between, uh, the task force the ministry and the attorney general, the public ought to have seized off the same draft. We have asked that draft specifically from the ministry. We have never seized of that draft. So in between, there are, somebody is lying to the Kenyan public. And the truth is that to date, we have no rules to regularize the process. And come 19th, for all practical intents and purposes, all the titles become a nullity unless it is reversed by the court. All right, now where does that leave those with ongoing court battles with regard to their land? I, I would basically say it's turmoil. Uh, it's beyond any imagination because those titles touch on a number of economic situations in this country, and I could basically say that will be a nightmare if it so happens. And we have only a few days from today, four days to 19th. The, the date of 19th by midnight of, 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 that, of, of 18th, 
means that those titles are invalidated. We are aware that somebody in the ministry is frantically trying to file uh, a petition uh, uh, to the court to seek an extension of, the, of, of that uh, uh, suspicion of the invalidity. But to up now, we have no evidence of anybody having reached the court registry with that petition. So it is still everybody's guess. If this Friday it is not there, and I don't expect the courts to be in session on Saturday, unless it is smuggled into the courts, it means they only have Monday. And come Tuesday is 19th, and all systems go uh, loose. Time frame, as you've just mentioned, more than 3 million title deeds here have been questioned. Um, can Parliament uh, perhaps uh, be able to deliver that within that short time? And maybe the question here is, what exactly does Parliament have to do in tandem with that court order to validate these title deeds? Uh, you know, the, the, we are talking about as a, the rules as subsidiary laws. Uh, basically, to effect the mandate of the Constitution. And what was in, in, in contention was the constitutional provision that the National Land Commission ought to advise the national government on a comprehensive program of registering titles throughout the country. That is the main constitutional hurdle that we have to meet. To meet that hurdle, the parliament has to convene. The parliament, as far as we know, is supposed to be going to, on a recess, if it hasn't gone on recess by yesterday. Actually, records has it, the last parliament to recess ought to have been Thursday, yesterday, as Parliament doesn't sit today. And uh, unless they are called back, which will be by Tuesday afternoon, uh, the same date when the titles ought to have been invalidated, I don't see the remedy the Parliament will do. And even as the Parliament was going to recess, we had no notice on the business uh, of the Parliament regarding the rules and regulation from the Ministry of Lands. All right, many thanks for speaking to us on KT News Centre. Odenda Lumumba is the national coordinator of the Kenya Lands Alliance, joining us live from Nakuru County. It is a discourse we'll be continuing in our subsequent bulletins. Now, the Supreme Court.